Welcome viewers of exciting archaeology news. Prepare to journey back thousands of years into the heart of ancient Egypt, a land where the desert sands echoed with the names of powerful gods and goddesses. Their influence wasn't confined to dusty temples. These deities shaped every aspect of Egyptian life from birth to death. Their stories fill the walls of iconic sites like Karnak and Abu Simbel, carved in intricate hieroglyphs that whisper tales of creation, chaos, and the constant search for balance. While Egypt's religious landscape was incredibly complex, certain figures always held sway with the people. So today, we embark on a countdown of the top 10 ancient Egyptian gods, who was the most revered, who struck fear into mortal hearts, and whose legacy shines as brightly as the desert sun. Number 1. Ra, the Supreme Sun God The sands of time whisper the name of Ra, the fiery, life-giving deity who dominated Egypt's religious landscape. Imagine the blazing sun high in the desert sky. That was Ra's essence, the force that brought warmth, sustenance, and divine protection. To the Egyptians, Ra was not just a celestial body, but a creator of all things, the king of the gods himself. His daily voyage across the heavens was an epic journey. The rising sun was Ra's glorious rebirth, as if he'd conquered the darkness of the underworld each night. Aboard his radiant solar bark, he traveled above the earthly realm, his falcon head marking him as the lord of the skies. And as the day matured, so too did Ra, transforming into a ram as he prepared to descend below the horizon. Every sunset signified a battle, as the serpent of chaos, Apophis, threatened to devour him and plunge the world into eternal night. Yet, Ra always prevailed, reborn with each new dawn. Ra's influence wasn't confined to the sky. Egyptians considered him the ultimate source of fertility, his radiant power coaxing beautiful harvests from the desert sands. Pharaohs considered his earthly manifestations, basked in Ra's blessing, their authority linked directly to the solar god. Grand temples adorned with Ra's imagery became focal points of devotion and power, further entwining the sun god with the fabric of Egyptian civilization. Number 2. Isis, the Great Mother and Goddess of Magic Throughout ancient Egypt, countless prayers ascended to Isis, a goddess as revered as she was beloved. Hers was a dominion interwoven with motherhood, protection, and potent magic. A caring figure, she was seen as the guardian of women and children, a shield against misfortune in life. Yet, her powers did not end there. Isis also stood as a formidable sorceress, capable of weaving extraordinary spells and wielding cosmic influence. Isis' most profound legend centers on her tireless devotion to her brother and husband, the murdered god Osiris. With unwavering determination, she scoured the land for his scattered remains, restoring him to a semblance of life with her enchantments and birthing their son Horus. Through her actions, Isis played a pivotal role in establishing divine order and setting the stage for Horus to challenge the chaos embodied by the usurper Set. Though ultimately victorious, Horus carried the scars of battle, wounds which his mother skillfully healed, further highlighting her association with restorative magic. Isis' legacy transcends simple stories. The very foundation of Egyptian belief held her sacred. Pharaohs considered her the ideal example of motherhood and loyalty, their queens mirroring her role as wife and divine protector. And for the ordinary people, Isis offered solace, embodying unwavering strength and resourcefulness in times of hardship. The many prayers in her name testify to the widespread, heartfelt adoration this goddess commanded. Number 3. Osiris, the Lord of the Afterlife and Symbol of Resurrection From the whispered depths of ancient tombs comes the name of Osiris, a god as closely tied to death as to eternal renewal. This paradoxical nature formed the core of his worship, offering Egyptians hope and structure in their understanding of the great beyond. In life, Osiris was Egypt's first benevolent ruler, symbolizing order and stability. It was his envious brother, Set, who betrayed him, tearing his body apart and casting the pieces upon the earth. His murder ushered in a reign of darkness and disharmony, a constant reminder of the potential for chaos in the living world. Yet, even in death, Osiris could not be silenced. In one of Egypt's most profound myths, his devoted wife, Isis, meticulously rebuilt his body, the first mummification. She restored him through magic and sheer will, not to the former life, but to eternal rule in the underworld. 
There, Osiris presides over the judgment of souls, weighing the hearts of the departed against the feather of truth. Those deemed worthy are welcomed into his peaceful afterlife. Those lacking were annihilated. In this role, Osiris was both a merciful judge and a stark reminder of the consequences of wrongdoing. This tale of death and rebirth resonated deeply with the people of ancient Egypt. Every pharaoh, every person, hoped to become one with Osiris after death, ensuring their spirit thrived eternally. Grand temples in his honor became pilgrimage sites, where Egyptians could pay respect and perhaps glimpse a whisper of the life that awaited them on the other side. Number 4. Amun-Ra, the King of Gods and Patron of Thebes Amun-Ra was the most important god in ancient Egyptian religion during the New Kingdom period. He was a composite deity formed by merging the sun god Ra and the creator god Amun. Amun-Ra was seen as the king of the gods, the lord of heaven, and the ruler of the two lands, Upper and Lower Egypt. He was also closely associated with the pharaoh, who was seen as his earthly representative. Amun-Ra was typically depicted as a human figure, with blue or black skin, wearing a royal headdress. He was often shown holding a staff and ankh, symbols of his power and life-giving power. Amun-Ra had many temples dedicated to him throughout Egypt, the most famous of which was the Karnak Temple Complex. Number 5. Horus, the Falcon-Headed Sky God and Protector of Egypt Horus was one of the most critical and famous gods in ancient Egyptian religion. He was typically depicted as a falcon-headed man associated with the sky, the sun, kingship, and protection. Horus was the son of the goddess Isis and the god Osiris, and he played a key role in the myth of Osiris' death and resurrection. According to the myth, Horus' uncle Set murdered Osiris and usurped his throne. Horus challenged Set to a series of battles to avenge his father and reclaim his rightful place as king. Eventually, Horus was victorious, and he became ruler of Egypt. Horus was often seen as a protector of the pharaoh, and associated with the concept of Mat, or cosmic order. He was a popular deity throughout Egyptian history, and he continued to be worshipped, even after the end of the pharaonic period. Number 6. Set, the god of chaos, storms, and the desert from the harsh wilderness of the desert and the unpredictable force of violent storms, he emerged as Set, a complex and contradictory figure in Egyptian mythology. While often vilified for the brutal murder of his brother Osiris, Set was also revered as a necessary part of the cosmic order. Protector of the desert realms and patron of foreign lands, he embodied raw power and chaos. Unpredictable, but essential for change and even growth in this intricate belief system. Set's appearance reflected his complex nature. Depicted as a composite animalistic figure, unlike any known creature, his canine body, square ears, and tufted, later forked, tail hinted at multiple animal influences. Artists rendered him inconsistently, perhaps deliberately adding to the confusion and unease he generated. His association with the desert, seen as a barren and dangerous force, further enhanced his role as a disruptive element. The myth of Osiris highlights Set's dark side. Driven by jealousy, he murdered his brother and scattered his remains across Egypt. Set then seized the throne, his violent act bringing discord and disruption. Number 7. Anubis, the jackal-headed god of mummification and the afterlife. With his distinctive jackal head and somber black coat, Anubis held a critical place in the ancient Egyptians' complex relationship with death and the afterlife. This revered god watched the intricate process of mummification, preserving bodies and protecting them for their journey after death. Egyptians would pray to Anubis, invoking his guidance for their departed loved ones as they ventured into a new, uncharted existence. As an underworld deity, Anubis's influence didn't cease with the body's preparation. He was also tasked with weighing the hearts of the deceased, a symbolic ritual representing judgment. With Osiris presiding, Anubis would hold a feast representing the goddess Mat, truth and balance, in one scale, against the dead person's heart in the other. Hearts lighter than the feather were deemed virtuous, granting entry into a peaceful afterlife. Those that did not pass this test faced dreadful consequences. Anubis embodied both the hope of safe passage and the fear of ultimate destruction. Number 8. Hathor, the cow goddess of love, music, and joy. 
Hathor was a beacon of warmth and vitality in the pantheon of Egyptian gods. With her iconic imagery as a cow or a woman sporting cow horns and carrying a solar disc, she represented femininity, fertility, and joyous celebration. Egyptians would invoke Hathor during joyful festivals, honoring her connection to music, dance, and life-affirming. She brought beauty and a sense of lightness to a belief system grappling with the weight of death and the afterlife. Hathor's role as a mother goddess resonated strongly with people throughout ancient Egypt. Her protective, nurturing image, linked to both motherhood and life-giving cosmic powers, provided a source of comfort and inspiration. Hathor's benevolent image didn't preclude her from possessing other, more complex traits. Some myths also reveal a potentially destructive side, as with the Eye of Ra legend, where her fierce protectiveness unleashed wrath upon her perceived enemies. Nevertheless, it was her association with love, joy, and motherhood that established her as a beloved and enduring figure. Number 9. Thoth, the Ibis-headed god of wisdom and writing. Ancient Egyptians revered Thoth, the Ibis-headed god of wisdom, writing, and knowledge. Believed to have invented hieroglyphics, he was the divine author of sacred texts and patron of scribes, symbolizing the power of written communication. Thoth's intellect made him an invaluable mediator and problem solver among the gods, helping maintain cosmic harmony. Even the afterlife felt his influence. During the judgment of souls, Thoth stood ready to record the outcome of the weighing of the heart, determining one's ultimate fate. Number 10. Ma'at, the goddess of truth, justice, and cosmic order. Ma'at embodied the fundamental principles that kept Egyptian society and the entire cosmos functioning harmoniously. Representing truth, justice, and balance, she served as a universal standard against which the actions of both mortals and gods were judged. Her iconic image, a winged woman wearing an ostrich feather, was a stark reminder of these tenets. Judges honored her through emblems, symbolizing the pursuit of fairness in earthly justice. In the afterlife, Ma'at's feather of truth determined the worthiness of souls during judgment, and Egyptian hearts hoped to prove lighter than its symbol to avoid oblivion. We've barely scratched the surface of the captivating mythology of ancient Egypt. If you want to explore this extraordinary world further, please like and subscribe to Exciting Archaeology News. Click the bell for notifications on more videos, and be sure to comment and share your thoughts. We love hearing from you. This has been your glimpse into the rich pantheon of Egyptian gods and goddesses, a journey full of fascinating stories and powerful symbolism.